How do you like your eggs? Fine. <laughs> Zach, I'm not investigating you. I'm just trying to make your breakfast. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not very good with answering questions. But I'll tell you because I'm hungry and you look so good in my robe that if you had a little flannel purse, you could wear that to the Oscars. <laughs> I like my eggs scrambled. And now you know that about me. Light or dark on the toast? Okay, now you're way up in my face, lady. <laughs> so then I get up this morning, and Dora just starts bombarding me with all these personal questions. Zach, the early part of a relationship is a time when a woman likes to find things out about a man. She doesn't want to be surprised when she's at a restaurant with him and his 12-year-old daughter walks up and asks, Mommy, is that the whore? <laughs> Just for instance. Communication is so important. I cannot stress it enough. It's just like Kristen and me. We're constantly talking, listening, giving, sharing, emoting. Somebody so shut him up. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's kind of fun to learn things about other people. Like, for instance, I never knew that Stansfield... Oh, don't tell him, don't tell him. No, not that. I, I wouldn't tell him that. I, I was going to say the other thing about the lemon soda. Oh, that's okay. You can tell him that one. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Stansfield likes lemon soda. A lot. <laughs> Guess he had to be there. But don't tell him where. <laughs> Zach, maybe you should take a chance and open up to Dora. You'd be surprised how rewarding intimacy can be. Boy, I hear you. It's like, it's, it's like Kristen and I were communicating the other day, and I told her how much I enjoy Vermont, and she said she loves to take weekend trips. So, I... Just watch how my mind works. <laughs> I took that information, and uh, I, I'm going to surprise her with a... A um... weekend trip to Vermont. <laughs> you know what? That's mean. <laughs> How often, how often is it that I come in here with a good story? Including this one? Never. <laughs> Bob, telling Kristen you like Vermont is a big mistake. The more you open up, the more ammunition you give her to hurt you. Don't listen to him. Not every relationship ends in disaster. Zach, do you like Dora? Yeah, <laughs> Zach. Yes. I like her. Then do something about it. Or imagine this scenario. You're 90 years old, you live alone in your apartment, and nobody knows how you like your eggs. I'll be there for you, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to her. All right. I am so ready for communication, I can't even put it into words. <laughs> you go first. I grew up in Milwaukee. My dad worked for the FBI. I grew up in a suburb of Los Angeles. My dad worked for a big aerospace company. I had an older brother named Wayne, who used to call me Butthead. <laughs> And a really great girlfriend named Winnie. Zach, that was the wonder years. You're telling me. I lived them. Zach, I really need this. I just need one thing that'll show me you're trying. All right. I grew up in Virginia City with my two brothers. That's bonanza. <laughs> Goodbye, Zach. Wait! I'm from Knott's Landing. <laughs> okay, that was just stupid. I'm in. Hey. Hey. So, what's going on, Bob? What's the big surprise? Made you French toast with Vermont maple syrup. <laughs> you know, I had to take three trains to get here. Wait, there's more. Kristen, taking you on a little trip this weekend. Actually, this breakfast. 
is a clue to where we're headed. Okay. French toast. You want to take me to France? Ooh. Oh, I, th I think the toast may have misled you a little. Uh, focus on the syrup. I'm taking you to Vermont. Oh. There's something I gotta tell you. Oh, God. It's not that big a thing. Oh, God, it's big. No. See, there's this guy. Please, tell me he walks into a bar with a duck on his head. No, no. I, it's this guy I used to see. And when we were talking about Vermont the other day, I got to thinking about him because he lives there. And so I called him and we talked and I'm going up to see him this weekend. Well, it's a long drive. I mean, you'll, you'll need something to snack on. <laughs> this doesn't mean I don't care about you. I just gotta sort things out with Eric. Eric? He's got a name? A moment ago, he was, he was an abstraction. And now he's, he's got blonde hair and, and boots. I'll call you when I get back. school down the block is having a carnival. Thought we'd try our luck at Dunkin' a Nun. No, no, no. You guys go ahead. Come on, we're trying to cheer up Zach. He and Dora broke up. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I'm okay. Looks pretty bad for me and Kristen as well. Oh, don't say that. She took off to see her old boyfriend. Some six-foot-five blonde Viking fighter pilot guy. <laughs> it's over. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm bummed. You know what? Kristen and I were getting pretty close. See? See? That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Claire kept pushing me to open up to Dora, and I didn't do it. And now I'm a happy, happy man. I don't believe you. I'm happier than you. Maybe so. But you know what? I still wouldn't trade places. You see, Kristen and I shared something that you can only get when you open up to somebody. And sure, it hurts right now. But pain is the price you pay for the good stuff. And let me tell you something, you missed out on that with Dora. You're so competitive. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You think I shouldn't let my fear of getting hurt rule my life, that, that I should, uh, should, go, should go after Dora. Well, you're wrong. And I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to go after her, and I'm going to get my heart broken. And then I'll have the last laugh. Ha! <laughs> See you later, suckers. Pain is the price you pay for the good stuff. That's deep. It's written over the door at my gym. <laughs> so you want to go to the carnival? Oh, no, please. Go, go ahead without me. I, I, I'm going to go to bed early. It's 10 in the morning. I said early. <laughs> well, looks like it's just you and me, buddy. Had no problem with that. <laughs> hey, is this starting to feel gay to you? Don't worry, I'll let you know when it goes too far. So he's punching me and punching me. Boom, boom, boom. You know, and I'm trying to be patient with this guy. Then I start thinking, hey, screw this. So I catch his fist, snap. <laughs> and then I go, hey, look at your arm. It's got an extra elbow in it. <laughs> Dayton, Ohio. That's, uh, that's where I'm from. My dad is a salesman. My mom is a nurse. I have a younger sister named Beth. Wow. Zach. We had a dog named Susie and a horse with no name. <laughs> And I swear I didn't get that from the song. Mmm, <laughs> something smells good. How do you like your eggs? <laughs> what is it? I like my eggs scrambled, my toast dark, and my sausage in patties. And hold me. 